And hello fellow tankers, Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks. And today I got for you a replay in my Conqueror. Yes, it's going to be a good battle guys. It's going to be a um, very tactical battle per se. And I think it's worth showing. And maybe it's not max damage or the damage that it used to when it comes to Conqueror. But you know what? Like I told you before, I'm all into close games. And this one is going to come down to 1v1 at the end of the game. So, hold on to your horses. This is going to be a good one. We're going to go into the zero line initially to do some brawling. And once we get there, we're going to do some brawling. Anyway, guys, as an intro to this video, you've seen a spoiler from this game. Yes, so you kind of know what's going to happen later on. But uh, you don't know how it's going to end. So... <laughs> So I left it the way it is. I thought it was cool just to show in front, uh, you know, uh, just kind of a clip from the game. Um, you know, the, just to create a little bit of excitement, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't know um, if you guys like it or not. Leave me a comment. Let me know if that's cool or not cool or whatever. Anyway, this game is not perfect by any stretch of imagination. As you can see me here, I uh, already fluffed the shot simply because i refuse to track people and reason why is because this game's been playing freaking tricks on me like you actually try you, you actually track someone or try to track someone you're either gonna get a critical it's not gonna track or nothing is gonna happen so you know what i stopped doing that i don't know maybe it's good maybe it's bad i mean part of the game should be tracking people and getting assisted damage but it's not working out for me lately so i'm looking for damage so that's why you see me fluff those shots because I'm trying to get damage I'm trying to hit the bottom plate instead of hitting the tracks which is probably a bad thing but hey it is what it is so we're gonna as you can see most of our heavy tanks pushed on this side so we're gonna clean up this side pretty quickly here and that's when the game is going to begin because opposition is smart enough they know that most of us pushed on this side so you can see them progressing pretty fast on the other side of the field so the idea here for me is just to kind of come out over the top get rid of that FV but by doing that I find myself in the open field so I'm kind of using this building here in front of myself in the T10 and I know there are tank destroyers and other tanks on the right hand side but there are buildings that are protecting me here so I'm taking that advantage and I'm sticking in this position for a while trying to hit T10 but couldn't get a shot on him so here that was probably a very stupid idea I shouldn't have moved on because Sixth Sense was still on it disappeared but then I see object 268 and I was like oh my no way I should be cutting through the field like that this is bad this is bad so like I told you guys this game is no textbook it's actually I make a lot of mistakes in this game but at the end of the game I do manage to prevail but still you know it's if you want to be a good tanker you have to play textbook every time and i find myself getting lazy many times on occasion and that's what happens this is laziness nothing else but laziness guys it's not situational awareness it's not you know lack of skill and stuff like that no it's laziness because you fail to acknowledge i fail to acknowledge that there are tanks on the right hand side and i just wanted to push that's stupid. So now I find myself in this bad situation. I'm trying to back out of it. Obviously, I'm trying to use my armor here. So I'm backing out, trying to draw separation between myself and the tank destroyer. But I still get spotted. So once I still get spotted, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop back behind the building. In the meantime, I'm going to try to take a shot. But my aiming abilities are so great that I managed to hit the building and not the object. So as you can see, lots of mistakes, lots of mistakes in this game. But even if you make mistakes, guys, and it will happen in games because you're not a robot, you're human, you will make mistakes. You can still do it. You can still do it. I mean, many times I get frustrated when stuff like that happens. But the most important thing is not to get frustrated. Remember, it's a game after all, right? You're supposed to have fun, right? So. You know, in this game, that's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, whatever. I missed those shots. I missed those shots. It is what it is. I'm not playing really well. But I'm still full health. The game is relatively close. We can still pull it off. So, and that's what I was thinking at this point. Just gather yourself space, you know. 
start paying attention to details and we can pull this game off so here I come up because you know the other team started capping so I I was thinking if I can come up closer here find a location in this base circle where I can kind of creep up and start capping as well but then I realized I got outspotted first thing and second I don't think in this base circle here there is actually any cover so even if I went in and started copying I would probably get shredded to pieces so I'm gonna try to go around this ridge here and still I get outspotted here but I'm trying this anyway to see if I can get a little bit closer and there we go it's T62A outspotting me I think our Death Star actually spotted T62A and in a second our Death Star is gonna get shredded to pieces and that's the problem I'm gonna try to draw close a little bit of distance to T62 to see if I can spot him once he shows up our Death Star gets taken out so as you can see there are only four of us remaining with uh, seven tanks or enemy team so I'm gonna try to creep up here take a shot at this E75 fully aim again fully aim I had time to fully aim and that's why I did it unfortunately I got outspotted here by T62 so again I put my frontal armor towards him but he does manage to penetrate me so I don't know where he's sitting exactly but I know at this point that I cannot be pushing to this side because yeah he's outspotting me and there's nothing I can do all right so the only option I have is drop behind that hill over here and maybe find some shots at the guys that are on top of the hills in the middle here I can see object 268 trying to put a shot into him yes it goes in so brings him down and help a little bit besides coming down here is good because it creates crossfire so these guys wouldn't be paying attention to me at this point in time so again I'm drawing a little bit closer to see if I can spot the 268 but I cannot spot him so what we're gonna do is drop and wait for other opportunities I'm gonna wait for our heavy tanks that are going through the middle to get the spots and here I see the E50 I aim pretty good at the side I lead the shot well and it bounces unfortunately RNG is not on my side I was thinking at this point in time trying to get another shot into this tank but someone takes him out so here I see object 268 spotted I'm gonna try to get a shot at him but I'm on a reload now he hides behind the rock again so I didn't get a shot at him and he gets taken out so our tanks in the middle are doing a great job we're actually winning this game right now but we lose another heavy tank and now that's going to be a critical situation because our team is too spread out so last thing you want to do is create a bunch of one-on-one -on -one battles on the battlefield and actually this is what happened here you can see me in one-on-one -on -one engagement with T62 there are two heavy tanks in the middle that are engaging with one another and there are also two tanks on the A-line that are gonna be fighting each other and that's the worst case scenario because then it comes down to skill only right then whoever is more skilled in each engagement one-on-one -on -one battle is actually gonna win this game and unfortunately I had no option here I had to stick around here and here you could see T62-8 decided to engage me and he gets the first shot into me because with the minimap that's another problem I sometimes get confused I don't know which direction they're coming from so I probably should have switched to compass already but T62-A missed his first shot now I have an advantage here because I do have a ridge and when he's poken out he's shooting my top plate he can't see my bottom plate so it's difficult for him so you can see him scuffing a bunch of shots here trying to uh, you know hit my bottom plate over that ridge so now he does the smart thing he that's what he probably should have done in the first place he tries to go around me and here I try to shoot him but I can't I can't shoot a turret if I shoot a turret uh, it's going going to bounce and here is laziness again with Russian tanks guys especially low profile Russian tanks like T-54 T-62A object 140 if you auto aim on the side what's gonna happen you're gonna hit the turret and that is the problem now if you hear some idiot yelling in the background it is me <laughs> I was just so frustrated I don't know how my mic was on honestly in this game I have no idea but anyway so my last chance here is to block the shot from T-62A luckily I blocked that shot and we managed to put last shell into him and we take him out which creates a 1v1 situation at the end of the game now what to do guys what to do 
I have only 41 HP left. So I have to, the only way I can win this game is I have to be engaging hold down. That's the only way I can do this. So basically what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to find the right situation where I can play hold down. And use, oh by the way, this message that Mustard Muff sent me, he basically sent me the HP of the E75, which is absolutely fantastic. If you think of it, players sharing that kind of information. The only problem is, in order to see what he sent me, would be going into messages, which I don't want to do right now. So it occurred to me that maybe I should be using my phone, because I do have Xbox app on my phone. And when someone sent me a message, I could see it right away on my phone. That's probably what I should be using. So maybe next time, when it comes to gameplay, I will have my phone right beside me so I can basically read. If anybody sends me information like this, this is critical information. I didn't know HP of E75, so, but I still didn't know because I didn't check the message. Anyway, so what I'm going to try to do is try to use this ridge line here and a house on the right side just in case I need to drop. So basically, I'm using a ridge line to just poke out and try to spot E75. If I can't spot him, I'm going to try to push a little bit further and if he spots me, I can always drop back behind the house. As you can see me, I'm kind of hovering around here. So what I'm going to do is fall back a little bit lower behind that ridge and move a little bit closer. And here I spot him. I spot him. Let's put a shell into him. Yes, we managed to put a shell into him. 401 decent roll. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to stick around here for a bit to see if he pokes out again. Now we know that we can outspot him. That's a very good piece of information. That means all I have to do is maintain the distance. And if I can spot him, he's only one shot to me right now. In the worst case, two shot, depending on uh, mercy, if it's a mercy roll or not. But I do have an advantage right now. So even though I'm only 41 HP, I have an advantage over this E75. So what we're going to try to do is draw a little bit closer, see if we can spot him here. We can spot him. So we're going to try to go around this ridge completely. And there is a good position on this side where someone was pinging earlier where I could poke out over the ridge and have good shots at E75 so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna come around here on this side and we'll see if we can spot him this is the position here right here which uh, I'll be able to spot the base circle and and see if he's there and yes we spot him he doesn't spot us yet now he spots us but we aim at the lower plate and we take him out to secure the win for our team fantastic game guys again not very high score not very textbook there's a lot of mistakes that are made in this game but the fact that i was able to gather myself and get the win for the team was the most important thing for me so we managed to put up 4.7k damage only 400 assisted we managed to get mastery one badge with 1280 block shots and uh, current Mark of Excellence at 78%. It's not like I'm grinding for Marks of Excellence, but I just wanted to check. So we finish first on a team. We fire 23 shots, 16 direct hits, 13 penetrations. And all of a sudden I got a bunch of messages from these guys that were probably watching me at the end, which is so fantastic, to be honest. And the two guys that were messaging me were in the platoon and they both had pretty decent games. So. They congratulated me on a win. So I just replied and I said, GG's, GG's. And thanks for supporting me during my play. Anyway, guys, these are the games you live for. These are the games you thrive for, especially when the games nowadays are very short, not very long. Everybody dies in five minutes. I think these are the games that you have to cherish. And honestly, I do love getting into situations like this and having at least a chance to close off the game anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video check out the guys in the description leave like subscribe until next time happy tanking space bandit checking out